The Lakota Nation Invitational entered its third day today, and that brings an activity meant to preserve Lakota culture, hand games. Our Cody Dennis has more on the importance of the games and why they're valuable for young people to learn. Hand games are a traditional activity where two opposing teams have a set of marked and unmarked bones. Members of each team are then tasked with hiding those bones within their respective team. Then, each team takes turns guessing who's holding the marked ones until one team has them all. The coordinator of the activity says the game not only teaches people about Lakota creation stories, but about life skills. It helps them. The game teaches them values, how to conduct themselves um, in social situations and during competition. So if they're being real mean and you know not playing very fair, uh, most likely they're not going to win. Aside from creating learning opportunities, White Eyes says this activity is a way to occupy young people's time and helps them feel involved. Well, for our Lakota youth, it's very important that we create these activities so you know they have something to do. You know, in the winter time, um, the the game goes all year long. There's big tournaments all over, but they're mostly adult tournaments. So this one is just strictly for the youth. Hand games were added to the Lakota Nation Invitational about 20 years ago, and since then, the games have grown into a much larger event. Now it's become a tradition. We started playing behind the bleachers in the Barnett Arena, and we only had the local, uh, the reservation schools, uh, mainly the uh, Pine Ridge, Red Cloud, Crazy Horse, Little Wound, and Eagle View, and Standing Rock, the ones that were in the basketball tournament. Now, the hand games include more reservation schools in both Central and Stevens High Schools in Rapid City. White Eyes says he's optimistic the activity will continue for years.